This is the Brevity Jumper Camera Bag, and if you clicked on this video, you're probably thinking about buying it. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so look, we have a few pros and cons to discuss, but the first pro is that this camera bag has a really nice aesthetic to it. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, this is a camera bag that doesn't actually look like a camera bag, and that is important for photographers because more than often, we're gonna be carrying around thousands of dollars worth of gear, and we don't want to advertise ourselves as carrying all of that when shooting in the city. For example, I recently went to Chicago last year in October and I wanted to take a camera bag that was low key, kind of discreet, and I ended up buying the Brevity Jumper bag. Now, whenever I was in Chicago, there was never one instance where I felt uncomfortable. No one probably even knew that this was a camera bag. So that is a huge pro for me. Pro number two is quick access. And I love camera bags that do this because it's so easy to go ahead and sling your camera bag on your shoulder and go ahead and access this little compartment that has your camera in it. Pro number three, in the front of the Brevity camera bag, you have this one compartment here that actually has a built-in tech organizer. And this is something that is extremely useful for me because this is where I put in all of my ND filters. This is where I also have all of my batteries. This is where I also carry my SD cards. And this is honestly such a a huge lifesaver because I don't have to invest in a separate tech organizer to put in this camera bag and make it even bulkier. So I really love this compartment. And lastly, there is also a secret hidden compartment that is on the back side of this bag. Now I use this for storing something like a passport, my wallet, or even sometimes my cell phone. And what I really love about this being there on the back is the fact that no one essentially has access to this except for me because no one can, you know, somehow get behind me, turn the bag around and unzip it. It is very secure because it's always facing my back. Now, a few other things that I want to mention about this camera bag that aren't necessarily pros and cons are that, of course, you do have your laptop sleeve, which claims to be able to store a 16 inch laptop. I haven't tried that myself because my laptop is 15 inches and it works perfectly for mine, but the website does claim that you can hold a 16 inch laptop. Now, along with that sleeve, there is also, of course, a top compartment that you can use to hold some extra clothes or extra pieces of gear if you're a photographer. I normally put like a book in there, maybe a sketchbook and a pen in case I wanna draw or come up with some ideas. And as far as the material holding up with extreme weather, I haven't actually been able to test that out just quite yet. Uh, however though, I am not 100% fully comfortable taking this bag out in extreme weather. I might switch it out for a different camera bag under those circumstances. Now on the side of the camera bag, you also have a pocket for carrying your water, which is highly important by the way, if you go hiking, always stay Stay hydrated. And on this section, you also have this little clip right here that will go ahead and secure your water bottle or perhaps even the tripod that you're taking within that pocket. Now, if your tripod doesn't happen to fit in that pocket, you do have some straps here at the bottom of the camera bag that will actually hold the tripod for you. Okay, now let's talk about the cons of this camera bag. First off, it is a very stylish, a very sleek camera bag, and I love the aesthetic. However, though, this camera bag doesn't offer that that much protection whenever it comes to being rough and rugged with your bag. So you do have to be mindful whenever you're out shooting and not just, you know, throwing your camera bag on the floor or just moving it around in your car really roughly and abruptly. And I'm actually pretty bad about doing that with my other camera bags, but this is one where I do have to be a little bit more careful because the material isn't very rugged. So probably the most important thing about this bag is gonna be, of course, the main compartment which is where you're gonna hold all of your cameras and your lenses. And I have a problem with this compartment because the padding and dividers that they provide you are actually very flimsy and not very strong and durable. So don't expect for your gear to be 100% secure in this area. It does work, but just so you know, those dividers are definitely not the strongest. What is great about it though is that you can take the dividers out and that they are adjustable to whatever sort of design you want to have within this compartment to best fit your needs when taking your gear out for photo shoots. And lastly, the shoulder straps of this camera bag are definitely not the best. They do have a little bit of padding. However, though, they are definitely not the best quality. I do wish that they were higher quality, but you do have to keep in mind, though, the price of this camera bag is $169.99 as opposed to 
opposed to other bags that are in the higher price range. And if you are interested in buying this camera bag, you can actually use my discount code, which is Marco A. Valdez. That'll get you $10 off your purchase. So overall, if I had to rate this camera bag from one to 10, I would rate it a seven and a half out of 10. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to go and leave a like, subscribe for more content, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Stay creative, my friend.